Okay, so today's a little bit of a different video. So what I'm actually going to be covering today is some people don't realize that when you are setting up Windows 11, especially if you're maybe just purchased a new device or whether you've just done a fresh install on your PC since Windows 10 is now end of life, that not realizing that when you sign into a Microsoft account during the setup, Microsoft is actually automatically signing you into OneDrive, which is Microsoft's cloud service, which is used obviously for storing and sharing files, but it is actually backing up all of your PC's files. Now, obviously for some users, this works really well. Obviously it will sync between multiple devices. Say for example, you're signed to a Microsoft account on your PC, maybe also signed on your laptop and maybe also on your phone. Obviously that all your files will sync between those devices, which for some people it works great. But a lot of users still don't really realize that this is obviously backing up their files without them actually knowing. So I'm gonna be showing you in today's video on how you can actually prevent OneDrive from backing up your files, or if you are already signed to a Microsoft account in Windows 11, I'm gonna be showing you how you can actually unlink your Microsoft account from OneDrive and actually uninstall it from your PC. So just a quick introduction before we do go ahead. My name is Matthew from Matthew's Tech Hub. Welcome back to the video everyone, hope you're doing well. So without further ado, let's roll that intro and jump straight into the video. Okay, so as you can see, we're now back on our Windows 11 desktop. Now, when you actually set up a Windows 11 device for the first time, now Microsoft will actually automatically install OneDrive for you. So the way you can check is you can actually just go into your start menu at the bottom, go into settings here, and then jump over into apps, go into installed apps, and then as you can see, as you go down this list, there is a lot of pre-installed software, which again, there is obviously videos on how you can actually um, make, make a completely cleaned up version of Windows 11, which funny enough, I've already covered. So feel free to go check that out by checking out the pop-out banner in the top right-hand corner of this video. Now, as you can see right here, OneDrive is already installed. As Microsoft, as I have noticed, tends to install the Microsoft Office applications as a default now, especially in newer versions of Windows 11, as they're trying to force users to go onto their paid subscription plans, which I'll explain about those later on in this video. Now, OneDrive, again, is a cloud service that Microsoft offers. This is a service which allows you to back up and sync all of your files. It is quite handy. You can sync all your files between multiple devices, which is, again, is probably quite useful if you are a business user. However, if you're an individual home user, again, you may also want your files backed up to a cloud service, but if you are privacy conscious, then this probably isn't the best way to be doing things. And personally, I'm just not a fan of it either. Now, the way to actually get rid of this is, again, there's a couple of methods. So when you sign to OneDrive, again, it will automatically back everything up and you can check that by going down to the bottom right-hand corner on your taskbar and you'll see down here that there's a little blue cloud icon. Now, if you can't see this, it's probably hidden inside of the other icons right here, which you can just click on this little icon here and then obviously you'll have the cloud icon um, just in there like that, for example, it'll be like this. Now, if you actually click on that icon, this will then bring you up the OneDrive menu and you can actually just go into the OneDrive settings by clicking on this little cog in the top right hand corner and then going into settings right there. Now you can see straight away that I'm already signed in. Obviously I have set this up as a local user, but if you had signed into Windows 11 during setting up the device into your Microsoft account, this will automatically be signed in. Now you'll see your email address straight away and obviously the account that it's linked to. Now the way to actually check if your PC is being backed up to the cloud is you can go to sync and backup on the left-hand side, and it will see a section saying backup important PC folders to OneDrive. And you can see down here under preferences, start OneDrive when I'm signed into Windows is turned on, along with poor syncing when this device is on the metered network. Obviously those are just the default settings that are already enabled. And you've also got a couple of other options in here as well under advanced settings. Now, the most important one is this one up at the very top. So if we actually click on manage backup right here, you'll see that backup is enabled for these three folders. So our documents are being backed up, all of our pictures and also desktop. Now you will see more folders if you have data in those. For example, if you've got videos, those will also be backing up to OneDrive as well. Now, obviously the first thing you might think about doing is just by switching those off. Now, if you switch these off, again, any folders or files that you add into your desktop pictures or documents, those will automatically stop being backed up, which means obviously they will now only store on your local PC. Now that doesn't really fully get rid of OneDrive. Um, again, it, you are gonna have to essentially uninstall OneDrive. Now actually unlinking OneDrive is a very easy and simple process. So the way you can do this is if you just come out of the manage backup folder on the system here, 
And then if we just jump back into the accounts tab, you can then click on unlink this PC right here. Now, if we click on this, it will just give you a warning, letting you know that everything is going to stop syncing. However, everything will then become locally available on this device, meaning that if you have files that are online only, only those files will be removed. Now, just to quickly clarify what online only files are. So for example, if I just minimize, move this out of the way, I've got this folder, which I've just created on the desktop, which is just a new folder. Now let's say I didn't want this to store on my PC. So let's say for example, my PC is very limited on storage. So the way I can get it to store online only is I can right click on the folder, go down to here where it says free up space. And you'll then see in a moment, once that's processed, that will now change to a cloud icon, which you can see right on this um, folder icon in the bottom left-hand corner. Now, what this means, so every time you go to access content within this folder, or if you are doing it on a specific file individually, it will have to be connected to OneDrive and it will basically just pull down that data and download it quickly to your PC, which means you do need to have internet access in order to actually download this content or to be able to even use it. Now, if I just right click again and then go back to always keep on this device, that then means that, that this copy and all the data is now going to be on this device. So for example, if I want to go to a location, maybe where I don't have internet access, I will then be able to access all of that content offline and on my local PC. So if you do have content that all of a sudden disappears after unlinking your PC from OneDrive, just make sure that you set everything that you want to keep on the device as local only if you do have enough storage space. So if we now just jump back into OneDrive, you can now just click on unlink this PC right here and then unlink account. And then that will then just begin signing you out of OneDrive and it will then take you back to the setup OneDrive window here, which again, you'll normally see if you are not signed in and you're looking to actually get OneDrive set up on your device. Now, once you have actually unlinked OneDrive, if you are missing any files or folders, as I said, those are now then put into a local folder and you can find that content just by going into the file explorer at the bottom, jumping into this PC and onto your hard drive going into users and then selecting the user account that you're signed into. Obviously you might have multiple users if you've got multiple users on the device for obvious reasons. And you'll then see that right in here, I've actually got two OneDrive accounts. So we've got the one which the data was all under, and then you've obviously got OneDrive, which is just the standard folder that um, gets put into here when OneDrive installs. So the data will actually be under OneDrive dash, and obviously it will probably say your name or a company name or even personal. If you just double click onto that, you'll then see that all of your folders, like your desktop documents and pictures, um, obviously all the content is in here. And as you can see, this is now the test folder that I created earlier on in this video. Now, something else you need to do is that by default, when you sign into OneDrive under a, a local account or even a Microsoft 365 account, the location of the desktop documents and pictures will automatically be converted so it's under the OneDrive folder location. So what I mean is if I actually right click my desktop here and go to properties, as you can see, the path is actually under C users, my name, and it's actually under OneDrive and then it will be under desktop. Now you might obviously want to revert this back to the normal location of where it would be if it was a local account, which I would highly recommend that you do. So the way to fix this is you can just go to location and then go into restore default right here. And you can see it will then change back to the normal location as what it should normally be. And if you then click apply, it will then say it doesn't exist. Would you like to create it? Yes, that's fine. And it's then gonna ask if you then want to move all of your existing files, folders and programs that are on your desktop over to this new location. So I would then just select yes to this as well. And again, it's gonna ask if you just double confirm if you want to proceed with the relocation and the redirection. I'm just going to select on yes and then do that and then click OK. And that will then move everything to our local folder. So as you can see, it's now moved out of the OneDrive folder. And you'll want to do the same as well for pictures and documents as well. And we can just quickly double check if that has been fixed by again going back into this PC, going back into the C drive, going into users, then back into our name. And you can see right here now we do have a desktop in this folder. So if we now right click on this, go into properties, you'll now see that the location is back to on the C drive under the local user folder. So perfect, that has fixed that problem. Now, if you're not actually going to be using OneDrive, then you're probably wondering, how do I actually uninstall it completely from my system? Now, just to also clarify, 
I have uninstalled OneDrive from many PCs in the past. However, I have found that Windows updates have normally tend to install them secretly back on the PC. So if you do uninstall it and then you then update to a newer version of Windows, say, for example, if 26H2 is going to be a thing in the future, then obviously you may find that OneDrive will be reinstalled on the system. However, to actually uninstall it, you can just go down to the start menu at the bottom, jump into settings just right here, and then just jump straight into apps on the left hand side, go into installed apps. And if you then just scroll down this list, you will then see the OneDrive application right here. And all you can do is click on these three little dots, go to uninstall, and also just confirm that you want to uninstall it there. And then that will then just begin uninstalling OneDrive from your system. Now, as I mentioned at the start of the video, Microsoft does offer different subscription plans for this service. So if you are planning on continuing to actually use OneDrive for backing up your devices, then you may find that you are limited on space depending on whether you are going to be looking on to carry on using OneDrive as a service. So for example, if you do create a free Microsoft account, they actually give you five gigabytes of st cloud storage, which basically means five gigabytes of OneDrive storage, and you actually get 15 gigabytes of mailbox storage. So if you are using the free Outlook.com service, which um, obviously is a free Microsoft email service that they offer. Now, you can obviously look at upgrading to their higher plans. Now, this was actually a newish plan, which I've seen. Um, I think this has been out for about a year now, because I, I remember only seeing 365 Personal and then Family. But they are now offering Microsoft 365 Basic. So again, this is all just for one person, apart from the family. Um, and you get that increases it from 5 gigs, and then it goes up to 100 gigs of storage. And then if you then decide that you want to include um, all the software, so if you want a license for Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, and also obviously comes with the Microsoft Copilot AI features as well, then you can upgrade to this one here, which is $84.99 a year. And this would obviously give you one terabyte of storage, which is a thousand gigs, which is again, quite a lot of storage because most PCs and sort of standard home PCs these days tend to have between sort of 500 gig SSDs or hard drives going up to about a terabyte. Now, obviously if you are a business, you may obviously then want to consider going over to Microsoft 365 Business Basic or even Business Standard as these obviously include different tiered subscriptions as well. But obviously I'm not gonna be covering the business as this is mostly aimed at home users that tend to set up Windows 11 with their personal Microsoft accounts and then obviously then realize that OneDrive is backing up their files. So yeah, so if you do find that you are running out of storage and you are looking to continue using OneDrive to sync your devices, then I'm afraid this is the only way to continue backing up your PCs and files. So again, you would need to upgrade to a higher tiered plan. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Will you be using OneDrive on your PCs or do you think it's just another way for Microsoft to spy on you? I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, please smash that like button to get this video into the YouTube algorithm. Please also hit that subscribe button guys to continue supporting my channel. And again, also always leave your comments and thoughts down in the description box down below. You can also check me out on my social media such as Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Links for them again will also be in the description box down below. But as always guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully this has been helpful. Until next time, I'll see you then. Bye for now.